All right. Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through and clicking on the video. All right. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and just hop into it, y'all, because I just did a whole entire like 20 minute reading and lost it because my phone died and this app that I'm using did not save my reading. OK, so I still have everything laid out here. So I'm just going to just going to like go over everything um, and then I may scrap it and then pull a few more pull some more cards but we'll see so uh, it's so annoying when that happens but i'm not gonna let it get under my skin so this is about a platonic friend okay i started off the reading saying that there was a platonic friend platonic energy that i was picking up on okay now this is somebody of the same sex as you guys okay for some of you it's somebody of the same sex so if you're feminine it's feminine masculine masculine but for some of you it could be you could you could be a feminine and this person could be a masculine um, with strong feminine energy or operating out of their feminine energy, okay? This person could even be a part of the rainbow community. Doesn't have to be, okay? Same for um, males. It could be a female, but it could be a, a female that have, heavy operates out of their feminine energy, okay? Now, for some of you, this is a, I feel this is a past person. This is somebody that, you know, you guys aren't dealing with, aren't talking to anymore. You cut this person off for whatever reason. And the, I mean, the gross sisters, <laughs> what? Like from the proud family? Wow. Okay. This person ashy or somebody ashy. Child. I don't know. I just heard the gross sisters. Okay. But that's a trio. So that's funny because I was saying in the first part of the read that it could be a trio and it could be just say there was three, a group of friends, and then one person left the group or fell off. Or maybe even you even left the group. Okay. I don't know. But yeah. Um, but something about some of you, you met this person through work at work. You used to work with this person. Some of you, this is current energy. You currently work with this person, but for um, a lot of you, it could be future influence there. I do see a new person entering your life. Like, oh, and I, I went through this whole spiel before I pulled any cards. I said the thing about the same sex relationship and someone in your life. And as soon as I pulled the tea leaf deck, y'all look what came out. I'm so mad that the reading got, got lost. Okay. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Exactly what I said. And it came out. And then someone new entering your life. For some of y'all, this was a, this at some point, this was a new person. I also said something about two-faced. Somebody being two-faced. And that card came out. So, yeah. This was a new person that you guys could have met through work. You could have had some type of partnership or business with that person. Profession also came out. So that's confirmation of you working with this person in some capacity. Um, you have apology. This person wants to apologize. It's definitely somebody that you ended things with, with the death card here. Okay. So, so for, for um, some of you, this is a Scorpio. I got Leo energy out here as well. Um, what else came out? Pisces, Aquarius. Heavy, heavy on the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay? Now, this person feels left out in the cold. This is somebody who, oh, for some of you, this is somebody who may secretly have feelings for you or have a crush on you, okay? Um, and more so, I feel like this is for those of you who may be dealing with, um, the person may be of a different the opposite gender but again like i said like a, a masculine energy that is very in touch with their feminine side or, or or the feminine that's very in touch with their masculine side or something like that okay um they may have a crush on you or it could be it could definitely be same sex crush but i'm just trying to throw all the scenarios out there so y'all take it how it resonates for you but I feel like um, this is somebody that feels shunned. This person feels isolated. They feel left out in the cold with this five of pentacles. This person could also be going through some type of financial difficulties or home-like situation difficulties or something like that. Or they just feel like you out outed them, ousted them, or ghosted them or whatever, okay? Now, um, this could be somebody that, you know, people will always say that you guys were tied at the hip, Okay. Um, people would say, like, when you saw this person, you saw the other person. Like, if, if somebody, if they saw you, they saw this person. They saw this person, they saw you. If y'all weren't together, y'all were on y'all way to being together. Y'all hung out a lot. Y'all did a lot of stuff together. You went out, you turned up, you did, you know, whatever. Y'all were close, right? So, it's like that type of energy. Um, and it's like when you stop talking to this person or dealing with this person, people would be like, um, hey, 
hey, you know, to such and such, what happened with you and Libra? I haven't seen you and Libra hanging out together. And this person's like, ah, Libra, and, and acting funny, and da, da 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 But really, for a lot of you, you cut this person off because they were gossiping and talking about you. This is somebody who's two-faced, remember? Okay? Page of Swords came out here. This is somebody who was gossiping and talking about you. Something about July is significant. Okay? Um, this could have went down in July. Maybe you cut this person off in July. Um, or something like that. But this was somebody who was lying and gossiping about you. Okay? This is the type of person who, if you... Um, just say you guys have two different groups of friends like they they have some people that they hang out with that you don't really hang out with and then they hang out with you and your group of friends or just you or whatever however it goes okay you guys got two different groups of friends you're friends but you guys don't really hang out with the same people all the time or whatever so this person was gossiping and talking to you about what was going on in that friend group and with those people and you better believe that they were gossiping and lying and talking about you to those people, okay? Um, so, yeah, I feel like you peeped this or you, you kind of figured this out and you kind of separated yourself and distanced yourself from this person, okay? Um, the card, a distant friend is thinking of you, is out here. So, this person is thinking about you. They do want to apologize. I do feel like this person is going through something right now. Oh, I said something about this person being fake, because of the seven of swords that came up but then you had the mask card that came out here so yeah this it says deception pretending and inconstancy and then you have the third wheel which says enemy distrust and flirtatiousness so yeah this is somebody who's gonna who's, who's really an enemy uh-oh and the friendship card fell on the floor in the reverse so, yeah, the, it, it was an up right here, but it fell in the reverse when it fell on the floor. So, yeah, this person is like they're being fake. They're not really your friend. For, um, And they're coming in with some type of strategy or plan to take something from you. OK, you have the robbery card out here. Now, it doesn't have to be literal robbery. This could be them just trying to take your attention. They need your energy. They need your good vibes. They need something from you. OK, but you have the magic card out here, the ritual card. So this person is planning something here. OK. And I, I don't, and I hear a third party influence. So this may have something to do with another person that they're currently dealing with too. This person could be sick with the illness card out here. And somebody could also be hiding the fact that they're sick too. Okay. So I don't know. Be careful about that. Um, but this person could be sick and they could be feeling isolated or lonely. Okay. Because, you know, they don't have anybody. Maybe they ran everybody away because they were lying and talking and gossiping about everybody. And people found out and people saw this person for who they were here. Okay. So, yeah. Um, you have the broken bridge. This person broke a bridge with you. Like, it says great worry over nothing. Uh, what else? Um, it's so annoying that. I'm, I'm gonna stop saying it because screw it but reading is gone um you have oh ace of cups so yeah so for some of you i feel like anytime that you got in a new relationship or a new partnership this person was jealous okay um for how you could know this person another way this could be somebody who you know maybe for the most part they were always single again like i said you guys spend a lot of time together so there could have been a point where you both were like just you know living a single life living your best lives turning up with each other and things like that and it's like anytime you got into some type of partnership or relationship or even if you just got like a new friend a new platonic friend this person was jealous okay for some of you you're you're, you're gonna be celebrating something i feel like um something's gonna happen um something about february 14th is significant i feel like you guys are gonna announce something or like be in some or it's gonna come out that you may be in some type of relationship or something like that and this person first of all they watch you on social media even if you think they don't even if you guys aren't friends on social media and if you don't have social media then you know this that part isn't for you but um even if you don't if the, you, you're not friends on social media, this person still watches you if they can. Um, they probably watch you from other people's pages or they might even ask mutual friends what you, you know, what you're posting or they may even have a fake page and that they're following you on. Okay. So yeah, this person sees you in some type of way. Okay. For some of you, I do feel like this person was secretly holding back feelings and, and crushing on you and things like that here. Okay. But I also so, see a lot of love here. Like you, you had a lot of love for this person. That song, um, uh, what is it? I can't, I don't know the name of it, but it says, Even though I love her so, and she's got love for me. Doo -doo, doo -doo. 
Yeah, so this was mutual, like, love, like a real friendship, real love and things like that. So, but something happened to where maybe you just didn't trust this person and I feel like you have a right to. Now, um, also, keep your life in balance here. This person is going to try to come back around. That's why this is showing up here, okay? October could be significant. Somebody, this person could be a Scorpio. Or you could have strong Scorpio placements. Um, keep your life in balance, fell on top of the Scorpio energy. So I feel like when this person, this person throws you off balance, okay? Threw you off balance, threw you off kilter, probably was like messing up your energy, clouding up your energy, always coming with some gossip and drama and things like that. And you don't want to deal with that. You cut that out of your life, right? So I feel like this is, you're going to keep your life in balance by not dealing with this person, Okay. For some of y'all, this could be an Aquarius, Pisces is out here, Sagittarius, Virgo, uh, Gemini, and Scorpio energy is here, Leo. I also said feathers could be significant. Um, if you guys start seeing like brown or white feathers, the symbolism of it, whether they're actual feathers or you see it on TV or somebody has a tattoo or something like that, I feel like that's like symbolic of this person coming you know like it's getting close for some of you this is an older woman that you could be dealing with or this or you're this older woman and then you had hidden secrets can harm you in the reverse so yeah like i said i feel like this person has been telling all of your secrets and exposing you and i don't want to say exposing really but just like i feel like they felt some type of way because you're not dealing with them or you cut them off or whatever and so they they just will tell anybody who would listen anything about libra oh libra da, 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 whatever okay um you have the feather card that came out it says someone you know is undependable and insecure and then get back to the basics this person wants to they have a goal okay a target they want to get back in your energy for some reason okay um it says seek out information that will help you i i heard i heard it through the grapevine so again they probably just want to see what's going on in your life again this person could be following you from fake accounts or just keeping an eye on your social media trying to keep tabs on you find out information about you you have some type of abundance coming in with money you got coins and boat here and it says money will be coming to you and then this one says money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall, okay? So, and I feel like, and oh, and you also had opportunity or windfall. So yeah, you're about to be very happy and very abundant. For some of you, this could even be like a marriage that's taking place. If you're currently dealing with someone, this could be a marriage that's taking place or like a higher level of commitment, making something official, maybe around Valentine's Day, okay? Um, I was hearing... Uh, it was Valentine's Day, February the 14th. My baby took me to a special place. Said he had a surprise for me. Okay. And then he proposed to me. Kelly Price, he proposed to me. So I was hearing that song. So, yeah, some of you, for somebody, this may result in some type of proposal here. And you have an exciting event out here. Um, You may post about this. And I feel like this person is going to see it. They're going to start talking about you. They're going to want to come back. This person may even, like, try to congratulate you or something like that. And you may look at the message like, um, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For some of you, I do feel like there's a new person entering your life. Um, or if there's a new person that recently entered your life, especially if you met this person through your job or through like school or something like that, just be careful here. Some of you, this is past energy, but for some of you, this could be current energy or future influence. So just be careful because this person is two-faced, especially if this is somebody who goes in between friends or who gossips a lot about other people. Because if they talk about those people, they talk about you. If they talk about you to them to you, they talking about you to them, okay? You also had romance, celebration, and party out here as well. Um, am I missing anything? Yeah, this person is yeah, they want to apologize. They feel guilty about something about being fake. This person may want to apologize for being fake or but this is one of those apologies. It's not like I'm sorry for this, uh, like straight up taking accountability. This is more like 
if I'm sorry if what I said hurt your feelings. I'm sorry if I made you feel this way. Like that conditional apology or that kind of like blaming you. Like really, I'm sorry if you feel that way, but you know, okay. It's like that type of energy. I don't like it, okay? Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, okay? I'm hearing Diamond, Erica, Shanita, Valerie, Vanessa, Tori, Tawny, Malia, George, Monique, Monica, Van did I say Vanessa? I think I said Vanessa. Lolita or Loretta or something with an L. Um, again, y'all remember that these names could be just confirmation that the message is for you. Or if you know a particular person like this by the name, then, you know, it could be confirmation for you. But just always use your own discernment when that comes up, okay? And don't try to read too much into the names. Whatever it is that you're feeling intuitively when you hear the names or when you hear your name, that's what it is for you, okay? So go with that gut feeling. Um, anything else that I missed? Just be careful because this person has some type of hidden agenda and they're coming back in just because they feel lonely or, or isolated or something like that here. Um, but this third wheel card does say enemy distrust and flirtatiousness. And this strategy card says planning prediction. So I'm, I'm telling you this person is planning something here. Um, I don't know what it is, but they're, they're planning something. What is this spirit? Can we know what this person is planning? What's this person's plan of action for coming to our legal? Why? Why is this person wanting to come toward a legal spirit? Why is this person wanting to come toward a Libra? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, hold on now. That's a lot. I see conflict out here. Okay. Because they see you healing. Because they see you healing and winning. Look, good news. Self-love. Triumph. Success, victory, and achievement. Daydream. I feel like you're, you're reaching your dreams or following your goals. And, and even you could be out here celebrating, having a good time, posting pictures. You're they're, they're seeing something in your life that looks like they want to be a part of it. They feel left out in the cold. They feel isolated here. They feel casted away by you, okay? Some of them, again, could be going through some financial issues, all right? Yeah, because you left this person. Withdrawal. It says quit awakening and rejection. They feel rejected by you. And they're trying. It's like they're trying to get back in. But I don't know. Look, blessings. Yeah, they see these blessings. It's like these these binds right here or, you know, spirit or, you know, whomever keeping this person away from you because they're trying to come in and get to your blessings. Look, look they're fighting hard to try to come in and get to your blessings. Ain't that some shit? But you're not talking to this person. Privacy separate and separate. You're not dealing with this person. Okay? For some of you, this is family. Or this person could see that you have a new family. Maybe you're getting, again, like I said, getting married. Some of you could be having kids. Um, You know, or, you know, something about family here. This person, to cause conflict because they scared they're suffering for some reason. There could be suffering over the conflict that they cause you over their lies and things like that. Um, you have imagination out here. They can't stop thinking about you or fantasizing about you for some of you. Okay. They can't stop thinking about you. This person lives in their head. Like they, you live rent free in this person's mind and preparation, pr prompt and arrangement. They're making some type of plans to try to come towards you. They're just trying to figure out how they going to do it. What's a good way to get in. And for a lot of you, I feel like the way that they're going to get in is you're going to make some type of post or they're going to hear about something happening to you and they're going to come in and try to like congratulate you or something like that. Y'all may even get into it with this person. I don't know. This is weird. It's weird. It's giving weird. It's giving weird. It's giving weird. Um, anything else, Spirit? I was gonna scrap the, pull these up and do other reading, um, do a whole new reading, but I was just like, I'm just not doing that. I'll pull a few more um tea leaf messages and see what else comes out. Look, a Taurus energy, a stubborn or aggressive person. Yeah. This is somebody who does the most. Look, disappointment in a friend or a lover. Yeah. See, you guys, this person did something to disappoint you. You could have found out that this person was gossiping about you, lying about you. I don't know. But you're disappointed in this person. You don't want to deal with this person. You cut them off for a reason. You cut them off for a reason. 
See, yeah, opportunities waiting for you in crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Some of you got new opportunities coming in here. You got new, new, new coming in here. And this person was rushing in trying to like congratulate you. If you guys are open some type of business, like if or like if you do like a gender reveal or something like that, this person is going to um find out about this and they may show up at whatever this is whatever this exciting event is for you they may show up at this child so yeah and, and again this could be a close family member of you guys i don't know parting of ways either romance or business yeah this is somebody that you're not dealing with family you guys are protected for negative forces beyond your control so don't really, don't worry about it i already said that what else for about this situation just leave it to no spirit what else about the situation do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person and situation? Ooh, that's a lot. See, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Y'all meeting somebody new or at some point this person was new or this is a new person. Y'all may be meeting somebody new in business. It says period of frustration lessons to be learned. Yeah, with this two-faced friend, y'all learned a lesson with this person or are you about to if you don't know already? That is in reverse. Heartache over what you no longer have. This person is missing you. Missing you guys' relationship, your friendship, your conversation. Missing how good, you know what I'm saying? Miss, they're just missing you. They're missing you. Okay? And it says unsuccessful plan, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Yeah, that broken bridge. That's you and this person. Y'all parted ways or whatever. Okay? Great worry over nothing, so don't worry about it. And you have a sincere wish will be granted. And pay attention to your finances in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like your finances and things like that are about to be looking up. And I feel like that's what, you know, why this person is going to be rushing in. So, they can get a piece of the pie. Okay, I'm hearing, we finally got a piece of the pie. Yeah, could be a fire sign. Okay, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Or this is somebody that... This is somebody that's hot and cold, child. It says strong emotion, passionate love or hate. This person don't know whether they love you, whether they hate you, whether they're excited for you, whether they're jealous of you, whether they want to, you know, friend you or, or freak you. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and then forces working against you. Yeah, this person. Mm -mm. Yeah, nah. If you ask this person out of your life already, let them stay where they at. Period. Pleasure with a close friend and great happiness. Mm. This is somebody, yep, because I'm hearing, do you remember the time? This is somebody that's going to be trying to hit you with the, you remember we were so close and we did this. You remember when we went to this party and this happened? Oh, you remember all the fun times and the good times? Uh-huh. I remember all the bullshit too. Yeah. Let's not forget about that. You have unsettled times and need to plan ahead and slowly but surely getting ahead. Period of prosperity and abundance is indeed coming to you. And you have karma, okay? And y'all know how karma works. Every time this card comes up, I tell you, you put good out there, you get good back. You put bad out there, you get bad back, okay? So, yeah. And I've seen that celebration again. Yeah. So, let's see. September could be significant. I could be talking to a September Libra. Something could have happened in September dissatisfaction with life this person yeah this is that came up too this person is is they're going to be seeing your your blessings and your happiness and your abundance and i feel like with that um the turtle yeah which slowly but surely getting ahead this has been a long time coming for y'all this is not like you just overnight got into some type of happiness and success like you have been through some things some ish okay and this is a blessing that you deserve whatever this happiness is coming for you whatever these opportunities are this is something that you have been healing for and working for and praying for and you know it's been a long journey for you and this person just wants to come in without doing any mother freaking work on themselves or otherwise and just take like no because they're dissatisfied with their life because they see your life getting better and improving but it's because you've been doing the damn work and they're over there just in a <sighs> romance is in the air child <laughs> this person may also be dissatisfied with their life because they don't have any romance in their life like i don't know it's giving jealousy see empty chair someone is leaving your life this came out in the reverse and you have the chair field here and i said something in the in the um first reading 
that about this person was exiting your life to make room for somebody else. So some of you could be meeting like a brand new friend, partner. Um, uh, even if this is like a work situation, a coworker, and you fill out with one of your coworkers, there could be a new person coming into the office or whatever, and you guys are going to be close here, okay? But someone is leaving your life. They don't want to go. With the, with the empty chair in the reverse, they don't want to go or they don't want to be out of your life anymore. They want to come back, okay? You have position of authority here. Mm. All right, what else? It says you should accept valid criticism. That's in the reverse. This, Yeah, this is somebody who would always give those underhanded or like those backhanded compliments or whatever. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, this is somebody that would be like, you could buy a new outfit and that you really like and they'll be like, mm, you gonna wear that? That's the shoes you gonna wear with that outfit? I mean, it's cute and everything, but I don't know about them shoes. I mean, I you know, I wouldn't wear it, but... It's cute, I guess, if you like that type of thing. Like, that type of person. And not, like, in the way to where your friends would be, like, real friends. They'd be like, girl, no, okay? You look like a busted can of biscuits in that. I'm going to need you to take that off because I'm not going to let you go out looking like that. Not like that type of energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you need those type of friends that's going to tell you the truth, okay? I'm not talking about that type of person. I'm talking about the type of person that sees you in something, no damn well you look good in it. And then because they either can't wear it or they're too insecure or whatever the case may be, they want to try to bring you down because of that shit. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So just to clear that up. Anyway, so you should accept valid criticism, not backhanded, underhanded, sneaky bullshit compliments that's really like disguised as some other shit, okay? Uh, yeah, oh, this person fake as fake can be, child. I just heard from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> um, oh, what's his name? No, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Oh, I know y'all seen Tropic Thunder. Anyway, I can't think of his name right now. Um, the the guy that plays Iron Man. When he says, somebody's like, "Who are you supposed to be?" He said, "I'm the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude." <laughs> So this person is fake as fake can be, okay? They playing so many different roles. This person don't even know who the hell they are anymore. Like, for real, for real. That's funny. I'm the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> Somebody pregnant. Somebody got... Mm. Somebody pregnant or trying to get pregnant. Somebody may have their tubes tied with the knot here. But I don't know. They're not look kind of loose. But it says unsuccessful plan. So I don't know. Maybe you're thinking about getting your tubes untied. Or um, maybe that knot ain't as tight as you think it is. Okay. I don't know. I feel like third time's a charm. Or the fourth time's a charm. And keep trying. I don't know. So uh. anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing that movie Knocked Up. Um, are they giving me Knocked Up? Why? Why did they do it like that? Why y'all give it to me like that? They, that song locked up. They won't let me out. But I heard it knocked up. <laughs> they won't let me out. What? Okay. Anyway, a journey, either physical or mental. Yeah, remember I said it's been a long journey for some of you. Like you've been carrying a lot. Okay. And whatever it is that you, that you're getting, this opportunities, this happiness, this love, this money, you deserve it. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, girl, you earned it. Shit. Yeah, you, <laughs> Shit, you earned it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are falling in love, too. Y'all about to be in love with somebody. He says, on that lonely night. Said it would be love, but we fell in love. Made us okay. That song, uh, from from Grey's and I'm about to say Grey's Anatomy, from Fifty Shades of Grey. Ooh, somebody got some, mm, some kinky stuff going on in that bedroom. Okay, Libra. 
Get your freak on. Get your freak on. Get you, get you, get you. <laughs> All right, time to get out of a situation and new opportunities. Yeah, it's time to let something go because new opportunities are trying to come in. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, didn't I just say get your freak on? Look at this. Too much concern with sexual matters. <laughs> Somebody will try to make you do something against your will. Something about a younger woman. You could be this younger woman. Um, I feel like reconciling is what this person's trying to try to make you do. Somebody could also make you try to make you do something sexually against your will. Like, okay, you gotta you gotta tell Bobby, okay, or, or Keisha, like, listen, some things we just can't do. Like, you can I'll do the handcuffs, okay, but ain't no electro shock. No, you can't shock me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay. I don't know what y'all got going on. But anyways, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Yeah, you guys have you guys have been doing the work, man. You've been doing the work. And whatever this is that's coming to you, congratulations. You deserve it. Don't worry about these people. That's right. It's, it's going to be people coming back in, trying to tear you down, break you down, get a little piece of the pie. And that's how you know that you're on the right track when things like that start happening. So... You know, don't let it discourage you. Just let it give you even more motivation, okay? Confirmation that you're on the right track. All right, Libra? Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave the message here, guys. I hope that this helped, gave you some type of truth, clarity, and confirmation that you may have been seeking. And I will see y'all in the next reading, all right? Love y'all. Bye.